Good morning, friends, and happy Friday. Today is, what, Passover Friday or Good Friday? Good Passover Friday, Good Friday. Is it, does it, is it considered Passover too? I don't know. Anyway, happy Good Friday. Um, I am on my way to the bank and tanning and possibly running into Lowe's really quick to pick up some more bird feed, um, which I probably won't do because I'll make Brian do it. <laughs> I just remembered I'm going to make Brian do it. Okay, so anyway, I am going to go tanning and go to the bank and then I'm going to head back home. Brian is actually off today. Uh, so he's already been driving me crazy this morning, like in a nice way. Like, don't I don't need to hear any like ugly comments about you don't want your husband to be at home. Um, I like him to be at home. Yes, it's nice, but like he will just complain all day long that he's bored and he's got nothing to do. He's like a child, and I always tell him like my mom always told me when I said that as a kid, go read a book, go educate yourself. My mom always used to tell us that. I have a really good book for you to read. So I kept telling him, I'm like, just read a book, go outside, exercise, go for a jog, go for a run, go for a walk, go do some junkie jacks, go run out in the middle of the road. <laughs> I just joking, of course, joking. Um, anywho, um, so it's kind of weird. So there's a cemetery right here as I kind of pull out of my subdivision, it's right there. And there, they now this is funny too. I mean, it's it's not funny, like dead body funny, but funny because my neighbor texted me the other night and she goes, Angie, she goes, they found a dead body in the cemetery. And I was like, um, what other type of bodies are they supposed to find in a cemetery? <laughs> anyway, but literally they found a dead body in the cemetery. <laughs> um, he had been there since like last July or something. It's so weird. But he was up here in the back part of the cemetery where nobody could like find him or see him. Um, but they're doing some construction right here. And I guess one of the construction workers uh, stumbled upon it and obviously called the police and stuff like that. But yeah, I think it was like a younger kid, maybe mid twenties, thirties. I'm not really sure. I want to say anywhere between 25 and 35. I don't read, I didn't read the article yet. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, he had been missing since like last year. And so they found his body, um, suicide, very sad. I always hate to hear that. There's like, oh, it just makes me so sad to hear that. Um, I, I've i known of several people to do that, but I've only known of one, one personal person that was close to, close, close to me that did that. It was a kid that I kind of grew up with um, uh, when we were kids. Uh, he hung himself in his parents' garage, and to this day, that just still, like, you know, makes me sad. Um, and I still know his family, and as a matter of fact, um, his dad just passed away last week. Um, so, yeah, it's just kind of a, a sad thing when that happens because there's, like, no closure for the families, and there's, there's always the whys, you know? So I'm so sorry if that's ever affected anybody, and my apologies and my sympathies for all of that, and... I just, I hate that. I really, really hate that. But anyway, let's, let's talk about something a little bit more positive. Um, I don't know what we were talking about. <laughs> um, that it's just the weekend and I'm very excited about the weekend. I'm excited because today's supposed to be a beautiful day. Tomorrow's supposed to be even more beautiful -er. Um, I, uh, plan on cleaning out my car tomorrow and vacuuming it and getting it all nice and clean um, but we are not taking my car on the trip next week which sucks because that kind of limits my activities for next week a little bit because I um, particularly don't care to drive Brian's truck everywhere because it's huge and uh, so I'm gonna have to be like very careful like where I go and how I drive it because like I said it's just kind of a big chunky truck and I hate driving it um, I just I feel more comfortable in my car and I have everything that I need in my car um, but taking his truck is gonna be like kind of a pain in the butt um, another thing too, London posted her um, video of our Q&A the other day and I'll go ahead and put a link to it up here above and if you guys have missed that uh, Q&A go ahead and watch it please pay no attention to the way that I look obviously the lighting was kind of bad in there and and I have chubby rolls and now I've realized that I need to like get my butt in gear and uh, do some exercising because it was pretty bad 
So um, that's why I kind of like just to be filmed from here up because nobody can see my chubby chubs. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be working on that very soon. I know I'm, I kept saying I'm gonna go outside and walk and I will, but again, it's one of those things where the weather has been crap and I'm not all about going outside in the cold weather. I don't know about you guys, but I know that I'm not like a diehard worker outer. So I'm, I don't, I don't care <laughs> to go outside in the cold weather and do all that stuff. So I won't. But now that the weather's getting nicer, I will go ahead and do that again. Um, but I just, it's just one of those things where I got to get the motivation to go do it. And I know with the payoff, because I've done it before, about four years ago I did it, and the payoff was amazing. And it doesn't look as if I'm going to get a job, yay, <laughs> yay, anytime soon, yay. Um, so I'm just going to end up focusing on all that and focusing on you guys and focusing on building my, building my little um, empire. Angie Wonderland Empire. Um, with that being said, I have a, um, a bunch of links for, yeah, lady. She ran that stop sign, dummy. Anyway, um, I, uh, I have a link, all of my links to my Amazon account down below. Um, and if you guys are purchasing anything from Amazon, just click on one of those links and use that link to purchase anything because that's also trying to, that's also building my empire, <laughs> if you don't mind. Um, you guys can, you don't have to like click on that link and purchase that, you know, item or whatever. You can purchase anything on Amazon and it really helps me out a whole bunch. And I thank you guys so much. From the bottom of my heart, I totally appreciate that. Um, but anyway, I am almost at the tanning place and oh yeah, and you almost turned right into me. Lady, what is with these people today? God, oh, people. All right, I'm gonna go tanning. See you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hi guys, so I have been working in the house today. I cleaned up my closet, started pulling some shirts out to put for packing next week. I've also been trying to put some more stuff on my Poshmark closet. So if you guys haven't checked out my closet yet over on Poshmark, go ahead and hop on over there. I think there's a link on my Facebook page, the Angie in Wonderland Facebook page, but I did add um, some jewelry from Tiffany's that I bought last year. Um, I never wore this necklace and I need to get rid of it because it's too small for my neck. Um, it says it fits necks 14.5. Obviously my neck was a little bit bigger. I also posted some more shirts on there. Um, these are Lane Bryant shirts and this one is from Charming Charlie's. But the other ones are really nice. They're size 18s. Um, this is an extra large from Charming Charlie. So I'm basically trying to just put some stuff on there. Um, so I can try to get rid of it as quickly as I possibly can and earn some cash flow. Um, another thing today too, I was able to get my, um, fast passes for my Disney trip in May. So I was very excited about that. Uh, what else did I do today? I can't remember. What else did we do? What else? Oh, I was going to tell you guys. Also, um, go to the links below. There's a Target link for you guys if you shop at Target. Use that link um, to shop at Target because it's got my code on it. And you guys can shop there. There's free shipping this week, I think, too. And there's some furniture stuff in there that they're having some sales on. And then also don't forget to shop on Amazon using the link below. So I'm going to go have some, like, early dinner, late lunch, and then I'm going to get some more clothes packed for our trip because we're leaving Sunday morning. So yay. It's such a beautiful day outside, but the pollen is so bad. It's like up to 3000 um, pollen count today. <gasps> Lots of pollen. Oof. Good morning, friends, and happy Sunday. Brian and I are just finishing up breakfast, but I wanted to show you guys what I made for breakfast. So good. I made this little English muffin with scrambled eggs and spinach and a little bit of cheese on there with a little bit of salt and pepper. It was so good. And then I had a glass of OJ and I took my probiotic and I took my Azo. Yes. Trying to keep my little area healthy. <laughs> But anyway, today's Sunday. It's supposed to be a. Today's not Sunday. Oh my God. Today is Saturday. Happy Saturday. I keep thinking today is Sunday because Brian had off yesterday, so I thought yesterday was Saturday. Scratch that, scratch that, scratch that. 
it is not Sunday. It is Saturday. If it was Sunday, we'd be on the road leaving for Tennessee. Today is Saturday. So we are going to be um, in and out of the house today working on stuff outside. I plan on getting my car cleaned out and vacuumed, even though we're not bringing that to Tennessee this week. Um, obviously, I'm going to clean up my kitchen really quick from the breakfast that we made and then... Um, make up the bed and then oh actually wait I gotta change sheets on the bed today so today I'm changing sheets on the bed um, because it is Saturday and we're leaving tomorrow and normally I would do it on Sunday but I'm gonna do it today but um, yeah so hang out with me today and uh, woohoo should be a good day I'm so excited because the Sun is shining and it's gonna be warm love it see you guys later Hey guys, so we're finally making our way outside. I was kind of doing a little bit of work on YouTube this morning. Brian was doing some work on his computer this morning for his work. Um, he finally made himself um, go outside. It's still kind of chilly outside. Um, we're really trying to wait for it to warm up so we can go outside and do some work, but he's outside right now spray painting the chairs, um, putting another coat on my rocking chairs. That way we can get those done and back up on the front porch today. Um, that way that's all done before we leave. Um, we don't have to worry about that. Um, but have you guys ever noticed, I don't know if it's just me or if it's everybody, but do you guys ever realize that your like daily routines never change? Like my daily routine never changes. I guess that's probably why it's called a daily routine. But nonetheless, I mean like I never stop cleaning up the kitchen, sweeping floors, straightening up the living room, making up beds, um, well bed, um, doing laundry, folding it, putting it away, um, did I say mopping floors, mopping floors, vacuuming, carpeting, dusting, all of that stuff just like it's a daily thing, it's a daily routine that you have to continually stay on in order for like your house to stay nice and clean, right? Um, but I just find myself just like doing the same thing over and over and over again. And then now today I have to add other things on top of that, which is packing and making sure that our bags are packed and we have enough clothes and undies and socks for the next week ahead. And Brian has all of his business stuff for that he needs for the business trip and everything. Um, I have to make sure that I pack my sister's birthday gift in my bag for tomorrow. <laughs> it just like everything... And then on top of one another, that's just it. I don't know, is it just me or is it just like, is, do you guys find that to be like crazy too, that your daily routines just never end? Things that you have to do every single day just never end. <sighs> it gets exhausting sometimes. But anyway, I'm just thankful for it. I'm thankful that, you know, I woke up this morning and I'm breathing and I have air in my lungs and a beautiful home and I had food in my refrigerator to go grab. Uh, some people just don't have that, but let's find the happiness and the positive in the routine that we all have. But anyway, so I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, fold laundry <laughs> and start getting some more stuff in the suitcase to pack for us to go. Uh, we are leaving tomorrow morning for my mom's house for Easter. And here comes the man right now. I heard some vlogging going on here. <laughs> I thought I'd come in and say hello. <laughs> okay. I was. Have you heard me out there? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh. Hey, he didn't like shy away from the camera. Anyway, so he heard me all the way outside. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's get this day started. So we moved the um, rocking chairs up here to the front porch. So I wanted to show you guys that. It looks so pretty. Um, Brian has to flip the chairs over and paint underneath because you can still see some of the black underneath the chairs, but we'll do that another time. Um, maybe next weekend after we're back and if it's nice. But then now we're gonna spray paint like these tables. I'm gonna spray paint that table and then we'll spray paint this. Um, I won't do it all white. I think I might do a different, some other different colors. Like I, if I might paint it like the color of my um, island in the kitchen or something, but we'll figure it out. Not all of them are gonna be white. Maybe the two like iron tables might be white, but this one might be a different color. But anyway, yeah, I like the way that they turned out. I like the way that they look. So pretty. Um, so far, no birds have been nesting in this wreath after I put it back up. I think I spooked them and scared them away. Um, but all of our stuff is blooming and growing really nicely. All of these pretty flowers. And then um, these pretty flowers. We were just discussing what we're going to do with this mulch. We're actually going to rip 
all of this out and clean it all out except for the big rocks um, we're going to clean out all of this stuff out all the little rocks and all the mulch on both sides all of this stuff too all the way around and we're just going to fill it with probably um, black mulch we're not really sure yet if we're going to do black mulch or if we're going to do pine needles but anyway but yeah that's going to be a project that we'll be doing um not exactly sure when uh maybe towards the end of april brian's parents are supposed to come at the end of april like the last week of april and they're supposed to be here and um they usually she always likes to help do the yard work so we'll probably just wait and then we'll all do it together uh make it a weekend project crossing our fingers and hoping that the weather is nice when we go do it um, and then Brian's gonna hang an owl out here because of the birds. They keep getting in there and nesting inside of our little pillars and we're trying to avoid that from happening. And then right now I'm getting ready to throw some cheese sticks inside of my little boiler here, a little deep fryer. And um, that's what we're gonna have like as a little snack while we're kind of cleaning up around the house. I laid out two chicken breasts for dinner tonight. So we're gonna do chicken breasts with some barbecue chicken breasts. We're gonna put those on the grill. And then um, with some steamed vegetables and some rice. So yay, that's what we're gonna be doing. So I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later and show you guys some progress. I did pack some more clothes, so that's progress. And I fit all the clothes that I need to bring in my bag. So, oh, progress, yay. Alrighty friends, so here I am in the car. I am headed to go tanning. I'm gonna try to slip in a really quick 10 minute tan uh, before we leave tomorrow. Um, it's about 2.20 right now. I just cleaned my car, vacuumed it, dusted it, cleaned the windows on the inside. I didn't clean the windows on the outside because the pollen right now is so bad it would do no good for me to do that and the pollen just kind of sits there on the windows and it's not going anywhere. And uh, the pollen is so bad right now, it's so, so bad. But anyway, so I'm gonna go and try to get my tan on and then when I come back home, it'll be close to trying to get some dinner made, maybe have an early dinner um, because I can finish getting the rest of my stuff done around the house that I need to get done before we leave tomorrow. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about dinner tonight too barbecue chicken on the grill yeah um oh wow oh there's a a dedication service going on over here see the balloons right there ah yes they're getting ready to build a new church over there and so there's a huge it looks like a dedication ceremony going on huh isn't that interesting that's nice that we were kind of worried they were going to build a subdivision there and we were didn't we didn't want a subdivision there because then the traffic over here would have just been a nightmare um and it already is in the mornings because of the school but a church that would be fine a church is going to be good so we're going to have a church there that's nice all right i'm gonna go tanning i'll see you guys in a little bit Alrighty, so I finished tanning and now I'm in line at Starbucks, gonna get me a frappuccino and my cheeks are really red. That like bed was woo, really warm. Um, I picked up a card too from my P.O. box because it's like right next door to the tanning place. I got another card from Miss Louisa Galaska. Thank you so much. And then I got another um, uh, little, uh, what did I order from Etsy? Um, a sign. A little sign. I think it says tea time or tea. Welcome to tea or something. I don't know. I'll open it up later and show you guys. Starbucks hello. My name is Frankie Matthews. Uh, yes, could I get a grande caramel frappuccino, please? All right. Anything else today? Nope, that's it. All right, that'll be five weeks. Thanks. Whew. It's going to feel so nice. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and try to open up the card right now while I'm waiting in line at Starbucks. And it's a pretty little Easter card. Oh, that's so cute. It says Happy Easter. Love it. That's pretty. I think I'd like to have that in a frame too. Dear Angie, may you always be surrounded by smiles of friends, the love of family, and the happiness that comes from meeting each day with the spirit of Easter in your heart. Thank you so much, Miss Galaska. I totally appreciate that. I'll put that one right on my china cabinet with all my other cards that I received. And then I can't open this one right now because it's all like seriously taped up really, really good. But um, it, is an Etsy, it is from Etsy. It's from the, oh my gosh, 
uh, Dixie Dew Designs. Dixie Dew Designs. Really, really cute. I'll actually put the name of it right here down below too. And I know, I think it's like, um, I think, you know how you have like those coffee signs or it says coffee and tea? I think this one just says iced tea or tea or something. I don't know, I can't remember. But anyway, that's what that one is uh, says. And then I wanted to show you guys my car. How I cleaned it up really, really nice and dusted it all. It's all shiny and sparkly and nice and clean. Everything is so nice and clean except for my seat over here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but see the spot right there? That's the spot that I got to try to get up. So I have to get some like upholstery cleaner um, and try to get that up. So I won't work on that until we get back from our trip next week or this week. Yeah, so I'm not going to worry about that until I get back. Um, but the we get back like next Thursday. Um, it's like two weeks from today we will be at Disney. Ah, two weeks from today we're going to be at Disney. I'm so excited. Yesterday I was um, 60 days away, now I'm 59, away from my solo trip in May. So I was able to pick out all of my fast passes for my trip in May. I'm very, very excited about that. And I'm just like so excited about that because I just like being able to like... Not that I can't do it with Brian, so don't get me wrong. Um, I just like to be able to kind of leisurely stroll, take my, excuse me, take my time, take pictures as I please, and not have to like feel like I'm rushed. So I just really, really like that. So um, the only like fast pass I could not get was Flight of Passage, which was, it sucks because I really wanted to do Flight of Passage, but I couldn't because that's not available. Even for a single, like one person, I could even get it, but anyway, oh well. Alrighty, I'm waiting here in line for my frap. I guess I'll go and uh, I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later. Now my car is nice and clean on the inside and the outside. I couldn't ask for anything better. I love, love, love having a clean car. And now it's going to be parked in the garage until next Thursday. Awesome. Awesome, awesome sauce. Probably until Friday because I won't go anywhere Thursday because we'll be getting home Thursday late. So I probably won't go anywhere until Friday. Yay, yay. Um, and I waited forever, I think 15 minutes. I waited in line outside at Starbucks to get my drink. And um, the line was just like that long. And when I got up there to pay, he's like, don't worry about it, it's on us, sorry for the wait. So I actually got a free Starbucks, ah, free Starbucks. So that's lovely. I won't complain about that ever. And uh, now I'm headed home and uh, probably gonna start getting my rice ready. Uh, for us to have dinner. We probably won't have dinner for another two to three hours, but I want to go ahead and get my rice made um, So that way it's made and I won't have to worry about waiting for that to get done while the chicken is cooking. So Yes, that's what I'm getting ready to go do going home Alrighty, so this is what I ordered from Etsy. It just says sweet tea and it's from Dixie Dew Design. So if you guys are interested in ordering thing, anything from her, she is on Etsy and she's got some really cute stuff. I can't like see that. That is really cute. And it's very, very well made and she packaged it so nicely too. That's very, very thick. Love that. She did a really good job. So basically what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna take the coffee and tea one down for now and put up a summer one for sweet tea. And it's kind of cute. Well, I don't think I can actually have Brian hang it, but I'll just set it back there like that. But yeah, that's gonna be nice. I'm very, very excited about that. But um, I think that's gonna do it for now. We are gonna be making some dinner here very shortly. I gotta get this up and edited. That way it's up and ready for Monday. Have a great Easter, you guys. We're gonna be traveling to Tennessee tomorrow, so I will see you guys next, next week, because I have a video going up every single day this week for you guys to see. So follow me on Instagram and on my Facebook page, Angie in Wonderland, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.